Hi, this is James here, and welcome back. Um, if this is your first time here, welcome to the channel. Um, videos about home tech installation. Uh, I've got a question to answer this time, and that is, will Nanobeam wireless point-to-point -point receivers made by Ubiquiti, Ubiquiti work through trees? And I'll tell you the answer now, if you just want it. It's yes, they do. It doesn't get the full speed, but I've had set up two links. One was about 700 meters, and one was about 200 meters, and both of them were through um, trees and they both worked. At the moment I've got a link that's not got a tree in the way because the tree was cut down and it's working perfectly. It's getting about 600 megabits a second um, but when there was a tree there I was getting just under 400 megabits a second and that was in good weather, bad weather and I was also I was streaming four high definition cameras through the system and it worked non-stop, no problems at all. But I'll show you what I have um, set up here. I put this camera up here when I was building the house. I had it just here. Sorry, this nano beam. And I had the cameras in the house for security, security cameras. And I had it running across to where we were living at the time. And that's about 700 meters away. So, um, It's through that tree right there, just over there. And you can just see the house that it was aiming at at night time, but it's very hard to see when the tree's got leaves on it. But it did work fine like that. Now I've got it set up just here, and I've got it just going over to a house just over there, just here. actually can't see it it's actually just behind that tree it's behind that little tree there you can't actually see it but that just goes to prove the point um, it will work through trees so we'll just head back down and I'll show you the interface and the interface and the speeds that we're getting so I've got a unify switch PoE switch it's a 250 watt and that's what I'm running the nano beams on. The nano beams run on a passive, a 24 volt passive power over Ethernet. Although um, it doesn't really matter if you've got a Unify switch because you can select passive or um, 802.3 um, standard wire, um, power over Ethernet. But what I've got just set up here is my comms rack. So I've got my router up there and I've just terminated. Uh, I think it's the red one here. My cable coming from my nano beam upstairs, and then I've just got it coming through here. Okay, just this is the device that we're talking about. It's the nano beam AC Gen 2. Now, the 5 gigahertz version, the 5 AC, is a little bit different to the others that you can get a hold of, and they look very similar. The only difference is, and this is the one that I have bought and used. Um, this one has the two Ethernet ports. Um, it's got the main Ethernet in, PoE in, so it can run on PoE. And also the PoE pass-through coming out. So you can also run another secondary device, which is what I'm using at the other site. I've got a secondary device running, um, being powered by the nano beam, And that's a um, unified access point. And it makes it quite simple to install and put everything together if you have those two ports, I've found. And it means you only need to have the one power adapter to run two devices. Um, that could be a camera as well. If you wanted to run a camera, you could run a camera. Um, I believe that it runs on 24 volt passive, and the power adapter is included with the nano beam. Um, so you end up with two of them. One of them I used, the other one I didn't need because it was plugged into my Unify switch. I'll just jump over now and I'll show you a picture of what my setup looks like. So that's my basic setup. I've got my router coming in from the internet. I've got a switch, a Unify switch, which is PoE. And I've got that running up to the nano beam that we saw outside just a minute ago. And that's connecting across to this one, about 200 meters across the other side of the street. And that's um, been fed by a power adapter that came with it. And it goes up into the nano beam and then back down. 
and connects to the unified access point which is powered by the one adapter so it makes it super simple to install makes it pretty pretty easy um, you just simply point them at each other and it's got a little um, light indication on the nanobeam itself to say the signal strength that you're getting as you're trying to aim them towards each other of course when it's this close it's quite simple um, these ones these devices can go they say up to 15 kilometers um, I've never tried using it that far I've only ever done links that are quite close and when they're close they're quite easy and of course they are designed for line of sight however I, they do work through trees because I've tried it and had no problem with it although it makes them a little bit slower and um, when I was going about 700 meters through a tree I was getting about 360 380 megabits a second even in bad weather um, streaming video cameras I had no problems at all passing through a tree so that's the nan the setup I've got with my nano, nano beam to actually set them up when you get them it's a good idea to plug, plug them in individually and once they've received power you can actually log into their wireless access um, point that they create and you can use the app the UNMS app on your phone to set it up or you can just use a browser and browse to it on a computer to set it up um, I believe you can also if you've got it plugged into a power over Ethernet switch you can just set it up through your own network um, the fallback IP address that you have to browse to if you're using a browser is 192.168.1.20 and that will take you to the device so obviously if you have them both plugged in at once it makes it a bit tricky and it doesn't work very well so you have to do them individually um, once you log into it for the first time you'll go through a setup wizard and um, it's pretty straightforward so this is one I've got set up already and this is running at the moment um, I've just got it set up as a bridge which is most likely what most people will use it for and um, once they're installed and connected it's like both sides of the network are just one uh, on one one complete network and they've got all the security details and everything set up in here if we go to the dashboard you can see it running at the moment so it's about 300 meters and it's got a three throughput capacity of 224 megabyte megabits a second and um, yeah that's that's the one we just looked at just before um, going about 200 meters that's our specs we got there they're pretty good everything's running pretty well and um, these devices have been up for 40 75 days probably the last time that the power was turned off so we've had no problems at all with them of course when I had it on a bit longer link through the the larger tree I was getting here I was getting about 380 megabits a second but I wasn't experiencing any cutouts or dropouts everything was working really well so that's the Nanobeam 5AC Gen 2 I highly recommend them um, they work really well easy to install and if you've got trees in the way there's probably nothing too much to worry about although it may have a large impact on it if you have to go a further distance so that I'm talking shorter distances doesn't seem to cause a problem thanks a lot for watching the video if it's helpful give us a, a thumbs up um, if you want to see more videos about installation of and smart home tech and home automation um, please subscribe for more content thanks